Hi, I'm Malin, and today I'm going to talk about my fear of women, intimacy, and kind of my dealings with like sexuality kind of thing. So growing up in primary school, um, I had crushes on girls. I think that was kind of normal. I think I kind of had it younger, maybe than some people. And I remember most of my experiences with that were kind of awkward, you know, it was kind of Sometimes you'd want to sit next to them in class or you kind of notice things about them. Well, I noticed things about them. And I I talked to a few of them, but some of it was kind of awkward. You know, like with one of them, I remember I was in art class and she said, oh, when I grow up, I want to be an actress. And I was like, oh, I want to be an actress too when I grow up. And she's like, she just laughed. And she's like, boys start actresses. <laughs> um... But apart from that, I didn't talk a lot to many girls in primary school, didn't really... I mean, I talked to them, I was kind of friends with them, but I didn't talk a lot to the ones that I liked. And one of them, another one that I did like, my friend also liked, and I felt kind of guilty because she liked me more than she liked him. And he would always press her about that, and I kind of felt guilty about it, so I felt like I had to hold back and kind of be nice because... I don't know, he seemed to like her a lot more than I did and they seemed to, I just didn't want to get in the way of that. And I guess that was part of my nicer nature coming out and also me growing up and having, feeling like I have to like do certain things for other people to kind of be accepted, you know, like, oh, if you want to be a part of this family, you should do this, um, you know, kind of like this schedule kind of thing. I felt like I had to do these things for my parents, you know don't get in trouble, you know, those sorts of things. Um, and this kind of theme reoccurred of when <laughs> I liked another girl and um, one of my friends liked her and I kind of rejected her or kept her away because he liked her and I wanted them, I don't know, I didn't want to get in the way of that even though that was something that I wanted. And now I realise, like, that's so silly, like, of course there's going to be other guys that like the same girl that you like, like, of course it's going to be like that. But if you don't try and take your shot, if I didn't try and take my shot, then of course I wasn't going to get a chance. And I had trouble kind of expressing that because I never, I would always repress it and hold it back and go like, oh, you guys go, like, I don't really want this, you know, that sort of thing. And like, just like, I don't really mind pretending like I don't care when really I did care a lot. And this kind of repression and stuff kind of built up, you know, I didn't talk to my friends a lot. There was a few girls, like one I kind of got set up with and she was kind of nice, but then when things started to almost escalate a little bit and seemed to get serious, that I just shut down and I had to cut it off, you know, I, I was like so scared. And I think part of that was because there was a pressure from other people and also because I wasn't really fe feeling ready to do that and I didn't feel comfortable with like my attraction towards women. <laughs> like oftentimes I would just avoid looking at their their lady parts, you know, their boobies and bums. <laughs> I would just like always avoid like don't look at it, don't look at it, don't look at it, don't get attracted, don't get an erection, don't don't get aroused, don't do anything, you know, because I felt kind of a bit shameful about like my sexuality and about being attracted to that, it felt kind of dirty and kind of like wrong in a sense. <laughs> and now I realise like, oh, like, that's kind of gone in the way because I haven't shown attraction to women, I haven't expressed that, like it's, <laughs> I'm not saying that you should go around and look at people's like butts and like boobs all the time, but like, if because if you do, then you kind of seem like a stalker, but then if you don't, then it's just like, well, are you gay or asexual? And lots of people thought that of me, like, oh, are you, are you gay? Are you asexual? And there was a time that I actually thought, like, maybe, oh, I am actually gay. Maybe I am. And I kind of thought about it. And then I was like, nah, this kind of is weird. It kind of grosses me out. I think I tried watching, like, <laughs> a gay, a gay adult content video, you know, on, on the, on the hub. <laughs> that was weird, I just didn't like it, didn't, didn't vibe with me. And I realise now that <laughs> I thought I was gay because I wasn't comfortable in my own sexuality and my own attraction towards women and my fear of like intimacy and being in a relationship because 
that's a lot of responsibility and underneath I have this low, uh, underneath I have like this feeling of like low self-esteem and like that I'm not good enough and like if I opened up myself to someone then they would see all of these parts of me and then they wouldn't like me and I'd get attached to this person and then they'd run away and that's like that's a sad way to kind of see about it but that's like a problem that I have to kind of solve and work on and that only kind of can happen through exposure and through trying to work on myself and um, that sort of thing but this repression and this guilt that all that brought up that got repressed and just held inside it had to have a way to come out somewhat how because I was getting these for example I was getting these emotions and these really deep kind of like dark feelings and like loneliness that I kind of recognize now but it just kind of felt like kind of like depression back then and that's because I wasn't connecting to anyone I wasn't opening myself up to anyone not even my friends I couldn't talk to them about it I couldn't talk to I couldn't tell women about that either because I felt really uncomfortable around them and trying to escalate things you know I was just kind of used to just being friends with them and that was kind of like my experience with them through high school and I didn't really connect to many guys because I didn't feel very connected to a lot of them a lot of them weren't really similar to me and some of them were like very overt about their kind of attraction to women in like a gross way that kind of turned me off so as i was saying this kind of repression and this guilt that kind of built up it needed a way to get released and i guess that's why i ended up <sighs> this 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 week masturbating a lot and watching a lot of the hub content you know the adult kind of content I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that or not. I'm just going to say kind of the hub or the adult content that's, you know, sexy videos, whatever, naked people. And initially this kind of happened just, you know, exploring. <laughs> I don't really want to talk about it too much because like that's just weird, but basically I got into it a little bit accidentally and then it kind of stuck around as a release. And even then it felt really anxious. I felt really anxious about doing it. Like <laughs> when I would have like the chiropractor or something, I'd be like, do they know that I'm masturbating? Are they going to find out? I can't masturbate like two weeks before I have the appointment. Just don't touch your dick. Don't touch it. Don't do anything. <laughs> um, that was how I initially thought, thought about it. But then it started to become a bit more of a habit and it happened a lot more often, especially like when I felt stressed or anything. And you, initially I thought like, oh, I'm a bad person because I do this, you know, this means that I'm a bad person and I'm doing this because, you know, I'm kind of a bad person. I'm like this dirty person that's like a, a loner and a loser and I do this sort of thing. But that was like the underlying symptom. This was like the symptom and the kind of diagnosis, the thing that it was attached to was that I wasn't expressing my attraction to other women I was repressing it I was holding it down and I wasn't getting any tr true or deep connection so of course I was going to look for some sort of a way to escape and to kind of deal with that sort of a feeling so I hope that this kind of story resonates with some people because I feel like it can with like other introverts that uh, that tend to be online a bit more like me that <laughs> I've had trouble with women or maybe even their sexuality or anything like that I just kind of wanted to share my experience my story to kind of shed light on it and to kind of get it out for myself because I feel like this would have been also beneficial for me if I had viewed this earlier on so then I became more aware of it and then I could have maybe done something about it a bit sooner so thank you for watching if you did and I'll see you in the next video